This is a spectacular. Where spectacular vernacular is commonplace, but this is not a commonplace. In fact, it's sort of mythical, like the fountain of youth. But these youth use fountain pens to ascend mountains of truth. Speak, 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 speak. speak. Like our lungs are running out of air, we speak. With our last breath, a hair away from death, we will take poetry to our graves. We will speak as if it's our last day. Speak. For peers who never knew to press pen to paper, pressure bus pipes, turning carbon to diamonds, forever dropping jewels within these lives and saving lives, we speak. speak. Start going cold to steal heat, seek a might miss, yet the brush fire that leaves my teeth and lips every time I'm speaking it will not be extinguished until it reaches all of the solar system's regions. And although some of the solar system's asinine astronauts expect me to fail, only the weakest souls are those who expect failure from themselves. So no, do not expect me to fail or bail in the 11th hour or cower behind shelves. Unveil my cerebral curtains and you'll say hello to a lethal serpent. And attacking this apex so for certain be to no avail because I will prevail. I said I will prevail and I shot it to the heaven. My childhood started at an early age. I had to grow up before I even lived. I sacrificed me. Adopted responsibilities that were way out of my league. I took on an insanity plea. I knew how to feed, need, and nurture infants before my own body was at its full stage of maturity. I self-induced my mother's responsibilities. I'm afraid of not making my parents proud, and that when I scream it isn't loud enough, so trust me, heights are the least of my worries. I'm afraid of losing my imagination for a way to get a paycheck. I'm afraid I'm going to stop laughing soon. And that when I look in the mirror, I'll see the frown lines permanently etched into my face of hard times to come. I am a young Basquiat in search of peace through my verbal telegrams. So when you read my stories, open that third eye to the words crossed out. I am spirituality. Not just Muhammad, Yeshua, Buddha, but a piece of God himself. I am everything and nothing at all. I am a sacrificial poet. This is supposed to be the definition of me, but there isn't an elaborate enough language to explain what I'm about. I'm a walking contradiction in worn-out shoes. I'm the smile on your face in your electric blues. I am a poet, showing you exactly what my poetry is supposed to do. Legions of legends. Words miss. Who do you think you are? <laughs> we are the wordsmiths. With word gifts that destroy everything in your arsenal and those weak pieces is costing you. Look at me when I'm talking to you. We are the legionnaires. We got a heaven sent syntax with a knack at tact. Tactics attacking the soul while I see is a facade, a boy. Made of frivolous phrases and plagiarized poetry. Oh, you're so predictable! This ends now. Oh, Speaking for you. I'm going to wreak havoc on ears. Make people hear a million voices that have been silenced on your microphone. Tell me what you want them to know, and I'll do my best to communicate, to eradicate all the hate, to fight fate with action because I'm no longer comfortable passively letting life pass by without saying what's important to me. My initials are T A D. Taylor Alexandra Duarte. Duarte, comma, Taylor, any favor you need, just ask me. Tell me the words you're not brave enough to say yet because I'm no longer afraid to be louder than a bomb. But the love for my country renders almost insurmountable, so I defend it. Meanwhile, protecting my sanity, I just want to come home. 
I want to lock away rifles and M16s. I want to not question if I'll attend my daughter's sweet 16. She's in the school now. First grade. The other day she said she made her first friend. Three days later she made her first friend's nosebleed too. I told you she was just like <laughs> I write you to remember that my hands aren't embedded into a bombshell, that bombs are just over Kabul. I thought venturing off on Mission Warrior would give my children something to be proud of, my family, a commendable name. Instead, I read your letters and realize I'm missing out on their entire lives and let it decimate my inside. I snap more than just fingers. I snap necks when people sense that Zola's in the building. I have traits that stand out built in, so my legacy is bound to be something special. I can't give you perfect. I can only give you the real me. My words feel you as your energy feels me. Take in my words. I don't care how you perceive it, just as long as you receive it, it all that matters to me. It's not a mystery that you're about to win its history. I tend to little people in all with my pencil for a tone that draw attention everywhere I go. I am the bomb. No, seriously, I'm a lyrical explosion waiting to happen. And tonight, I just might dead. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm late, I'm late. Oh. to fit in, not enough space in haikus, too much to fit in, canvas, if only the water could wash it away, color, they say the pot's been calling this kettle black, ha, <laughs> I ain't never been that, just a coffee bean dark brown, with my decapitated crown, and all the screams that can't be heard, in Harlem, Woo. See, the very thing that would not make Survivor's Block seem like a death trap, they want me to Maya Angelou myself across this stage phenomenally. With words like the lines of a back and forth like a tennis match, ace with metaphors and similes are off of my gun and laying accidents as alliterations get more play than the first day preacher's daughter and the job. Now I'm going to come on a little bit cocky, but because it rides in my skin. The vessel that keeps blood flowing in are comprised of links and hues of Erica Badu. And Tupac, well, I met him when I was a, a little girl he gave. He gave me poetry. In case in the taking time bomb on the streets of Spanish Harlem, sprayed on buildings like a Michelangelo masterpiece. I wonder if he painted the masterpiece of mine. He never felt in the world I love to color. <laughs> Love yourself first to know the love that you truly deserve because men don't settle down with insecure women and if so, slavery days are shortly approaching and true love union coaching this is the battle of picking flowers asking some superior being does he love me? Does he love me not needs to stop because you can't be glutton and pick all the flowers. At some point they're going to get tired of you plucking their petals because every petal is a regret. Every petal is a representation of what you deserve, what you're missing. I mean, then again, there is a mirror. A heart connection is in an entirely different space and time because he loved me when those other boys did. He loved me through every Nathan, Damien, Zeke, and Daniel that came into my life completely blindsided by the foolishness of another. I missed out on the prototype of the perfect lover, DJ of my body that has my heart scripted, uh, skipping and scratching tracks. I got it bad. I go out of my way to usher his conversation into my day. No one ever made the collision of plaques so beautiful. I know him like the back of my hand. And I know my hand fits perfectly in the palm of his. I just wish I had the gall to tell him this. Tumbling towards distant lands, I war. See, they couldn't use their words. I hope she picks up the pen before the sword reaches her wrist. Love, peace. Perseverance, balance, passion, happiness. Poetry is what I wrote in the sand. I'm Peter Lane. I'm a writer. I'm a lover, not a fighter. And y'all kill me with this all gold everything. Boy, all the niggas ain't real gold. That's why your neck turning green. But all the we sign, we speak hip hop. A universal language that has influenced every color, no matter the hue or saturation. 
and we are the blossoms from that concrete jungle. Hip hop, we speak outspoken truth from the urban youth. So excuse me if it ain't always rainbows and unicorns, but more like guns and noses. And like I said, every rose has its thorns, and we rose from that concrete jungle. The heavy hitter known as hip hop. I hope you ready to rumble. Y'all show me hip hop is. So. Even students wish I would disappear like a bad report card. I mean, I got arms that were created to pull fire alarms. And every time I'm in the lunch line, I feel a food fight coming on. So yeah, I'm that dude. I love pretty women, and that's my problem. And putting me in detention ain't gonna solve it. I almost got caught kissing behind the bleachers. Got suspended for flirting with my teachers. Oh! <laughs> Bro, is that a new girl? <laughs> Give me your name and your number. You ain't got a phone, oh well, that's a bummer. Cause I just wanna ride with you in my mama. And girl, you hot and it's not like summer. You don't like rock? Alright, cool, bye, I'll sing it to you. Just a hot time, a It's hard to be intentional. There's something about bodies rocking. Not just popping and locking, but the way her hips sway like ripe fruit that's about to fall from a tree. Branch extension fluid, cascading currents to calm creek, tongue twisting movements. Right. You know the sensual vibration through your feet, reminding the ground why the summertime heat loves bringing young kids to the streets doing Wu Tang while water highness and they nay round sprinklers. There's something in a dancer's grace that can paint piercing pictures like Leonardo and Picasso. The very inches of mystery align and coincide with pivotals and pirouettes and. Dancing in silhouettes. At least that's what they tell me. False dreams are what they tell me. I have dreams so massive I couldn't even imagine. But then, in no case, try to dream and just look what happened. He got sniped and his life left right with his dream. It's tragic, but it's real. You get killed for thinking outside of the box, but I'd rather rock than not to dream. I got to dream to shut the dreams that curtains out inside my head, because my dreams are illegal. And for this reason, I would put up to be the but what alcohol will me be? Is there really a such thing as being too free? Maybe it's just me, but I think we need to remove the scales from in front of our eyes. They spoon me as lies and deprive us from our aspiration, aspiration. Sometimes I feel like my neighborhood is a trap thing. But once that bullet goes off, everybody scatters. Blood scatters. I gotta see us dive into the holes we find there. Spectacular. The bright, bold, yes! of us, the sharp tinny trumpet of us, the plie arabesque shuffle ball change of us, spectacular. We have written and professed, but what will you write? As you leave this jeweled room, what will you put down on paper? Blow through a flute, tap on the floor? Spectacular, more than just a show, the booms of applause, but a way to live, live spectacularly. Wake up, good morning, spectacular day. Good night, sweet world, spectacular stars. We have spoken, spectacular. Now you speak. 
to our, our wonderful band director, Mr. Leo Basigalucci. Uh, his band members, I don't know where they are. Where they go? They, they're they're even. Start, they're okay, cool. So I'm going to say their names so that they're recognized formally. Bradley Cote, give it up. Eric Von Stikina. Then we have also Miss Melissa Hernandez, who's a dance teacher. So uh, she choreographed the two young ladies that danced out that, that were Milan Bush and Melissa McLemore. And then you have the crazy hip hop dance. Uh, if you choreograph that by all by himself, Mr. Alex Pelayez. So speak stands for spoken expression, artistic creativity with a K at the end. Because we thought we were cool. Oh, I just want to get to I'm sorry. I'm tripping. Um, you, you, as you were going around, you saw uh, the artist, wonderful, doing the wonderful. Um, you can't see her. She's not there. So she's right here. All right. So we'll give it up for Miss Enzinga right here. Have a, uh, a wonderful exhibit that's happening this Saturday, and a, a few of our kids will be performing there. So um, she has flyers and stuff at the table, so you can find out. It's in Fort Lauderdale. So you're on the job all the way down here. So some of you who drove all the way down here. Okay, and so shout out to Esther Park. Where is she? And so Esther and works for, for Young Arts, which allowed us to be in this crazy venue, and I love it. It's like so dope. Videographers Chris and Veronica Winter here. So, again, as I was saying, uh, speak, spoken, expression, artistic creativity. So, I'm just going to kind of call their names. They're going to come up and wave their hands in the air, and then we're going to leave when, when that happens, okay? All right, so make like go crazy, go wild, go like stupid, like you had a Justin Bieber concert. All right, first, give it up for Amaret Lower Mill. Um, then we have, I mean, Haja, she told you like all her names. I'm just going to say the parts that I can pronounce. Uh, Haja Buema. Taylor Duarte. There we go. Shalisa Constantine. Give it up. Thank you. 
Brooklyn Bridge. Peter Lane. They're willing to give you all autographs <laughs> and have a great evening. Peace. Woo!